What will the college you attend look like in fall 2021? This is an important consideration when you put together your decision pros and cons list. While we say this every year in the wake of the pandemic, measuring every campus's plans for their fall 2021 term is even more critical to your college selection decision. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is Selecting a College for Fall 2021. Decision Day being on May 1st, many of you are putting together your final pros and cons list for the schools to which you have been accepted. Your considerations need to include the essential subjects of your comfort level with the college, the rigor of the academic departments, the career counseling department's offerings, the living arrangements, the town in which the college sits, the makeup of the student and faculty population, and the financial aid versus cost equation. From Nesta Wings has videos on our YouTube channel that explain how to deal with decisions like what to do after you receive an admissions decision, taking a gap year, and what to do if you've been waitlisted. We also have videos on college loans and the basics of financial aid. Please utilize all of these resources, which are very informative. We suggest that you review those that will most impact your college selection decision by going to the admissions or finance playlists on the From Nesta Wings YouTube channel. In the wake of the pandemic, there have been some added college decision considerations. Vaccination requirements or suggestions, online versus in-person classes. Many colleges are talking about going near normal in their course offerings. What does that mean? Living arrangements, size of the freshman class, health management plans for those who become sick with COVID, and orientation. Vaccinations. Some schools are requiring vaccinations. Some schools will add this requirement as they believe that there are ample vaccines available. And some schools are waiting until the FDA provides a higher level of approval than the current emergency level afforded all of the vaccines available in the U.S. Have a discussion with your family and your doctor to determine if there are any concerns about your being vaccinated. Then check with each college remaining in your selection process to see what their plans entail. If they require the vaccine, how will they track student compliance. Most colleges do require students to be vaccinated for numerous diseases like polio or meningitis. It is projected that tracking the coronavirus vaccine will take much the same form. If a college hasn't announced their plans and COVID vaccination is an issue for you, check with your admissions counselor and ask for specific information related to the COVID-19 vaccination requirements. Online versus in-person classes. Is the campus planning to return with a primary emphasis on either form of classes? You should also measure the class selection in your particular academic department. Colleges find that the large lecture format is harder to house and still meet the recommended space between students. So some lecture classes are going to be available online only, or there may be a combination of course opportunities. Again, your admissions officer can provide some information but it is also important for you to do some research. If you know a student at the school, ask them what they are finding in course offerings. Ask yourself if the type of class offered makes a difference. If not, no worries. You can be flexible and take courses as they are offered. If you're tired of online classes and believe that will undermine your ability to do your work, accept that about yourself and work for in-person classes. If you are not confident about being in groups of people yet, working for an online schedule is the way to go. Some campuses are reporting that they will only allow freshmen to live in on-campus residence halls beyond the resident assistance. If this is true, you may have less opportunity to learn from and interact with upper-class students. This may not figure in your selection criterion. Still, it should figure into your willingness to make new friends on campus through your classes and activities as having someone who has been there, done that, available for you to ask questions and advice is important. You can also find out if the campus is going to work to have full capacity of all residence halls and all residence hall rooms. Also, review your housing contract closely to see if monetary policies could restrict your ability to react to a surge in COVID cases or policies that might force you to move should cases become overwhelming for the college. The size of the freshman class is going to be a unique challenge this year. A large number of students who were admitted last year deferred their freshman year until fall 2021. 
This coupled with the fact that college administrators are not sure what percentage of students this year will defer or won't show up on campus at all has led some colleges to invite large freshman classes to campus. We suggest that you ask your admissions counselor what they believe the freshman class size will be and how that size compares with the class beginning their college trek in fall 2019. Does the campus have the infrastructure, organization, and personnel to manage a larger than usual freshman class? Do they have the advisors, orientation guides, residence hall staff, and class offerings to support an increased class size? Ask your admissions counselor. Pay attention to all the materials sent out to the incoming student body and get the earliest orientation date you can get so that you have the most extensive course selection options possible. What arrangements are each of the schools you are interested in making should there be a coronavirus outbreak? Do they have rooms reserved for quarantining? What healthcare opportunities are available to students if they get sick? What testing facilities will be available? Are there going to be provisions in place to help curtail the spread of this disease, such as mask wearing, group size management, hosting of events, etc.? Are you willing to live within the guidelines provided by the college? What are the consequences the school will impose if you violate any policy or guideline? In-person orientation is a key to making sure you know what the campus looks like, what the expectations are for fall 2021, meeting with your academic advisor, and feeling comfortable that the school you selected is where you want to be. If two schools are equal on your decision list and one has in-person orientation and the other doesn't, this should be very important in the weighing of your college selection decision. The last item we want to discuss going into fall 2021. Are you ready to go back to school in a more traditional fashion? If you are used to a hybrid online or shortened day or week schedule, a whole week of coursework will take a change in your attitude, focus, and willingness to work for your education. It won't take long to adjust, but the combination of the schedule change and the alteration to college schedule after high school will provide some challenges. Fall 2021 will find all students, instructors, and administrators still making decisions based on pandemic-related challenges. In a world with COVID-19, neither schools nor yourself can plan for every contingency, but learning how schools are laying out their plans for fall 2021 will give you an insight into how they will react should an unexpected hurdle arise during fall term. Any information you can gather on fall 2021 must figure into your decision-making process. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.